During Paris Fashion Week, Kanye West once again grabbed attention with his creations. During his PFW presentation, the 45-year-old founder of Yeezy sparked controversy by wearing apparel branded with the problematic slogan, White Lives Matter, before sending models down the runway. West wore a black long sleeve t-shirt with the contentious slogan, which the Anti-Defamation League has branded a hate slogan, emblazoned on the reverse. Conservative commentator Candice Owens joined him and was also sporting the same white shirt. Pope John Paul II and the words Siguremos tu ejemplo, which translates to We will follow your example, were printed on the front of the garment. Gabriella Carefa Johnson, a fashion editor and stylist, posted her impressions on Instagram after seeing his exhibition. She also sent screenshots of text conversations that she had written to others, detailing her intent annoyance with West and his attire. Gabriella Carefa Johnson was swiftly criticized on social media by the Donda musician, who also questioned her standing in the fashion industry. In a since-deleted post, he described the Vogue editor as not a fashion person and asserted that Anna Wintour, the editor-in-chief of Vogue, would detest the boots she was wearing in the post. Quote, There is no excuse. There is no art here. Unquote. Carefa Johnson later added, Quote, I'm sorry sorry I failed to make that clear. I thought I did. I do think if you asked Kanye, he'd say there was art and revolution and all of the things in that t-shirt." Unquote. Both West and Vogue claim that Kanye and Karefa Johnson met to discuss the incident. Quote, I'm not letting people go to bed thinking I didn't meet with Gabriella at 5 p.m. today for two hours. Then we went to dinner at Ferdi, an Italian restaurant in New York City. Unquote. He claimed saying the two, quote, apologized to each other for the way we made each other feel, unquote, and actually got along. Vogue added, quote, she was personally targeted and bullied. It's unacceptable. Now more than ever, voices like hers are needed. In a private meeting with Ye today, she once again spoke her truth in a way she felt best on her terms, unquote. Karefa Johnson, however, has made no comments regarding the purported meeting. Many famous people defended Karefa Johnson during the scandal, including Gigi Hadid, who collaborated with her on March 2021, Vogue cover. On her Instagram story, the 27-year-old continued, calling the editor of Vogue one of the most significant voices in the business and saying that he should teach that awful man. Her mom, Yolanda Hadid, also commented on Vogue's post, adding, Yes, Gabby is an extraordinary, super intelligent, kind, honest, and one of the hardest working women of fashion's future. Her voice should be heard because she will be running the show one day. Unquote. Hailey Bieber followed Hadid's lead and defended the editor on her own Instagram story. Quote, my respect for you runs deep, my friend. Unquote. The 25-year-old wrote over a photo of Karefa Johnson. To know is to adore you and to work with you is an honor. The most kind, the most talented, the most fun, the most chic. In the evening of Wednesday, Wes posted a screenshot of an E! article about Bieber's criticism. Commenting, wait, am I cancelled again? Justin, please let me know. West later shared a screenshot of that post from his IG as well, claiming Drake liked it and writing, Everyone knows me and Drake have had a rivalry in the past. It really warmed my heart to see Drake like one of my posts. We still need the Donda team to play Nokta. All Drake music will be played at Donda. Games moving forward. However, his like is no longer visible on the original post. In a subsequent post, Kanye maintained his belief that the boots Karifa Johnson was sport were effing trash and called out all the effing programmed sheet. He added likely referring to Justin Bieber and Hailey. But I'm sure John Legend still wants a pair and Justin get your girl before I get mad. The fashion business wants corny ass Gigi Hadid and nose job Hailey Baldless to rally behind an obvious Corey Gamble level non-fashion industry plant. Jaden Smith who was also there at the Yeezy event said on Twitter that he left the presentation. He wrote, quote, I had to dip. I don't care who it is. If I don't support the message, I'm out. Unquote. Smith also tweeted, quote, Black Lives Matter and urged his followers to think for yourself, have an opinion, and to follow your own morals and not people. Unquote. Before claiming that Wes did not have
have the full support of the youth. Like a number of Jaden's tweets against her sister, Kim Kardashian's estranged ex-husband, Kendall Jenner subtly expressed her support for his leaving the Yeezy show. Along with Jenner, Khloe Kardashian stood up to defend her sister, Kim, for West's remarks about his ex-wife during the PFW incident. West brought up the issue surrounding their daughter's birthday and said, quote, I wonder what Gigi and DJ Venice X thoughts were when I didn't know where my child was on her birthday. Why did everyone feel so free to attack me for my t-shirt? But Candace Owens was the only public figure to say that it was wrong for the Kardashians to keep me from seeing my daughter. Unquote. In reaction to the Donda 2, a rapper's public outburst about Kim's missed invitation to his daughter Chicago's birthday party, which he ended up attending. The founder of Good American implored Kanye to stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect. Quote, again with a birthday narrative, enough already. We all know the truth and in my opinion, everyone's tired of it. Unquote. She commended under Kanye's post, you know exactly where your children are at all times and you wanted separate birthdays. I have seen all of the texts to prove it. Under a screenshot of Chloe's comment, Kanye responded to her assertions by writing his own labeling her as the Kardashian family, liars, and claiming that Chicago had been kidnapped on her birthday. On The Breakfast Club, Diddy added his voice to the discussion. He first praised West as a free thinker and noted that a lot of the time what he means is misconstrued before criticizing his action and labeling it tone deep. We don't have to condemn Kanye or cancel him, but at the same time, you gotta understand your actions, he continued, adding that it would take him a few days to get over West's shirt. This moment is the wrong time. We don't need to get sidetracked. We need to know what's going on in our neighborhoods, he continued. Right now, we're the ones that are dying, that are incarcerated, that are left in poverty, aren't getting any money for reparations. Kanye West labels Gigi Hadid. Kanye West published a screenshot of Gigi Hadid's Instagram comment, in which she claimed that the late fashion designer Virgil Abloh wasn't treated like a friend by the rapper. Gigi Hadid went on to claim that Abloh liked Gabriella Karifa Johnson, editor of Vogue, and the West had previously criticized her, even though West later referred to Karifa Johnson as his sister and asserted that they had lunch together. Hadid corrected West for calling her Gabby and Gabrielle. West continued to criticize the model by removing Hadid from an Instagram story photo with her sister Bella. The musician also posted a since-deleted picture of Bella, 25, tagging the model's well-known spray-on outfit from the Copperney show with the phrase, White Lives Matter. Justin Bieber ends friendship with Kanye West after rapper slammed wife Hailey. Justin Bieber and Kanye West's friendship has ended as a result of rapper's criticism of Hailey Bieber after posting an old article from 2016 about Hailey and Drake going out on a date. Haley defended Vogue editor Gabriella Karifa Johnson when the father of four claimed she had a nose job. Haley was referred to by Kanye as a nose job Haley Baldlus, and Justin was advised to fetch Haley before he gets furious. You spoke to be my friend, right? Kanye's comments have affected Justin and Haley, especially because they formed a close bond with him when they visited his Yaoming Ranch in 2020 at a surprise fashion display in Paris. Kanye drew criticism for donating a t-shirt that read White Lives Matter. The 45-year-old rapper spoke while wearing the top, which had the Pope's visage on the front, as he walked the stage to display his season 9 collection. Yeah, Kanye new stage name added a pair of bejeweled flip-flops to his outfit in response to the Black Lives Matter movement that began in 2013. After the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin, White Lives Matter was inscribed in large white letters on the back of the shirt. The term White Lives Matter has previously been referred to as a hate slogan by the Anti-Defamation League. The clothing worn by several of the show's models, which was the same shirt as Kanye's, cost furry online. The contentious remark has been discussed on Twitter, but some have interpreted it as endorsing the Black Lives Matter movement. So what are your thoughts about celebrities who reacted to Kanye West's drama? Or does her dazzling blue hair have another explanation? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.